This is going to seem a little alarming. Okay, so I ran into my first problem. Try not to shred my thumb. Buenos dias, guys. Welcome to sunny and extremely hot Costa Rica. Today, I have a project to make a new shelter for our ducks because the babies are starting to get big and the existing shelter we have for the ducks isn't big enough to house them all once they become adults so I figured I'd get ahead of the curve and make another one for them. The setting for it will be this space right here. We're gonna put a, a tiny sweet little casita underneath the trees where they they like to lay down and hang out in the shade anyway and we're going to be building it with bamboo from the property since I have a ton of it and it works great for building. So I'm building in my bathing suit today because I have found in the last couple of weeks with the heat we've had that throughout the day I routinely have to hose myself down so that I don't overheat. Wish me luck! So since I don't really have a proscribed size for it, I'm trying really hard to size out this particular casita to match the materials that I have for it. Um, I always try to do that as much as I can because it sp saves a lot of time not having to cut materials more than you have to and it prevents a lot of wastage. So this plastic mesh is going to go along the sides and go along the floor so that when the ducks poop, their poop falls down onto the ground. And since it's on a slope going down that way, you can't really tell here, but when it rains, the rain will wash their poop down the hill. So hopefully it'll prevent me from having to spend a lot of time doing cleanup. So I'm going to make the width, of, the depth of the floor of the casita this wide. That way I only have to cut it by length and that should be plenty of space for the ducks to create little nesting spaces in there and get some shelter from the rain.
Hi guys. So I took a break for lunch because it had started raining and it was raining too heavily for me to be able to actually do any work. But now it's still raining because welcome to the beginning of rainy season in Costa Rica. But it's raining lightly enough that I think I can still work even with the power tools. One of the things we considered when we moved to Costa Rica was whether or not we were going to be able to handle rainy season. And we decided that even though it rains a lot in this country, we figured when it's 26 degrees, it's not so bad. So hopefully I can still get some work done. The ducks, if you can't, they're loving this rain right now. So you'll hear them. Good morning guys good morning it is a very sunny about to be very hot day in Costa Rica uh, I didn't get everything done yesterday that I wanted to get done the rain and darkness stopped me the rain definitely slowed me down and what was a light trickle last night turned into a gigantic rainstorm so everything today is kind of wet but that's okay we can work that way so I posted a teaser video on my Twitter last night and I got some light criticism about the fact that I don't have any cross bracing between the posts of this little shed. What the people that criticize me don't know is, is that the sides are going to be comprised of rigid sheets of tin like this. So I deliberately didn't put cross bracing because a large metal rectangle will act as brace enough for a handful of ducks. I'm pretty sure. So, today I'm gonna get this done. I have to screw the roof sheets down and then I'll be cutting pieces for the sides in the back. I'll be leaving the front completely open because it's just meant to be a shelter shed. It's not going to be enclosed and then I need to build a small ramp so that they can get up there without having to jump or fly. So. Okay, so I have a ton of leftover tin that I've been using for the roof and for the sides. We took it off of the old addition of the house that I've been rebuilding and uh, it's still good enough to use for ducks, but to cut the back piece and the side piece left me with a couple of short pieces and instead of cutting another long piece and leaving yet another short piece, 
I'm going to use my brand new riveting tool for the first time. I'm going to rivet the short pieces together because the ducks really don't care what it looks like. all huddled alone together in the dark corner. So, on the inside here, the tin doesn't quite come up to the edge. And just because some of the ducklings are still kind of wee, I don't want their little feet getting caught in here because the edge of this tin is really sharp and I would hate to have somebody get their foot amputated because it got caught down there. There's a lot of ducks on this property and they're not always good about sharing space. So they huddle together and push each other around. So we wanna make it as safe as we can. So I got some of these spare pieces of bamboo that I sliced off the other things. And I'm just gonna make a little, like a buffer, just screwed down to stop them from hitting that gap. on the inside. Now I've just decided I was going to leave the front open but now it feels too open so last minute I've decided I'm going to add a little bit of walls just two small walls on the side leave the front still open but that way they have a little cubby they can hide in. So we're going to modify on the fly. I just gotta see if they're gonna use it. <laughs> 